Hey everyone, Joe here. Well, today I have the Yang Nu YN660 Speedlight. Now, I just got this in, so I thought we'd do an unboxing, kind of a comparison between it and the older 560 Mark IV. So, let's hop in here and start unboxing. Let's first start by opening our box here. I have not had this open. I had it sent over to me from the U.S. and a sea cargo box. So I hope everything's good. We have our bubble wrap. The box is a little damaged here. That's a user manual. Yeah, I'm not going to use that too much. And a quality assurance card. Alright, so got that done. Got it out. Here, let's just take it out. Put the bubble wrap back in there in case I need it. Yeah, let's just pitch that in the floor, why don't we? Alright. Got our speed light here. And of course, in our pouch, we do have the little foot, which also has a quarter inch 20 little thread on the bottom. About standard. Pretty decent made, solid, you know, for plastic. Let's take this off. And we'll slide our speed light out of the cellophane here. Okay, let's put that out of the way. Okay, well, now looking at it, I can tell you this is a new design. <laughs> it's built pretty tough here. You know, it is a good deal much bigger than actually the 560 Mark IV. Now, the reason I got this is not that I really needed another speed light, but, you know, so many people really enjoyed the tutorial I did on the 560 Mark IV. That I thought, you know, for the price, I could purchase one of these for everyone and do another tutorial. Now, I'm sure everybody will like a tutorial on this one. Since it is a little bit redesigned here. Well, actually, it's pretty much completely redesigned. As y'all probably see on the <laughs> top cam here. And we got a lot of nice little features here. Now, let's, first thing I noticed off the bat, I love the lock they have on the uh, bottom here. This is something I really did really liked about the young news with a twist type one on the old 560 mark fours I really didn't care for it too much it worked but my Canon always has this so to now have this on the young news I like that I like that a lot and we now have a own lock so you can put your settings in I guess if you accidentally bump it you can put a lock on it another thing here the back door. I like that. Now before you actually push these down, I guess somebody did. Now they got this little switch. Wow, that's just, I really don't think it's necessary, but it adds a nice professional uh, touch to it here. Okay, so what else we got here on our side here? Got a little plug there. I'm not sure about that plug. Of course, our battery can plug up here. Yeah, I know we got something down here. This is probably more just, yeah. I am really not sure what that's for unless that's some kind of antenna. I'll have to look in the book here and figure that one out. To be quite honest with you. Uh, pull that off. I'm not sure if this one has a uh, any kind of focus assist. That, I don't know yet. So I'm just getting this out of the box. I really haven't read a lot into this one. My 560 Mark IV has been working so well. I really didn't see the need for to get a bunch of these. But, you know, like I said, I, I did this for you guys. And this right here has got a nice little QR thing. You can scan it and find out more about it. Overall, it's a bigger flash, but it's not really heavy. So it's not too bad here. Let's grab some batteries and throw in it. Okay. Let's open this thing up. Whatever that is. Sew up the packages. Alrighty. Put that in there. Now let's hope it works. <laughs> yes, it's on. That sounds a little rough. Let's see here, zoom. Uh, that's just it going through the, the zooming here. 
Okay, well this one goes uh, as wide as 20. And while this one is only a 58 guide number and this one's a 60, you really don't think it's a lot. But here's what the biggest difference is, is you can go up to this one. Let me click on the zoom here. All the way up to 199 millimeter, which is basically say 200 millimeter. That's where this one's really going to uh, be better than this one. Now, let's say this thing is a lot bigger. Let's put it on a little stand here. As you can see, right here we have the 660, the 560 Mark IV, and just for also for comparison, here's my little trusty 430EX2. Ever see this? It's not hugely that too much bigger, but it is in fact bigger regardless. So anyway, I'm not exactly thrilled about the zoom noise, but that's just the way it is, I guess. Yeah. It's just the way the zoom is. So it's got all the nice little features. The screen is very much almost identical to this one. All the everything's laid out. Just a nice little turn dial here now. So it looks, looks pretty decent. Yeah. Seems pretty decent. Anyway, that's it for this unboxing. A little just quick comparison between these, just in case somebody's interested. You know, not too bad. I will be making a tutorial on how to use this one. Uh, that's basically the reason I got it. So anyway, look for the tutorial to come out. I think I'm going to try to do it next month, uh, which is be January of 2017 so if anything you're watching this video and it's already past January 2017 the good chance the video is already out do check out uh, look forward to my channel and everything but anyway that's it for this little quick unboxing everyone I hope you like it if you do have a, give me a thumbs up thumbs is always highly appreciated if you're not subscribed to my channel you know take time to subscribe subscribe is free it's for you it lets you know when I release more videos until next time everyone thank you for watching